Hey everyone, Luke here with another video. In today's video, lo and behold, we have the iPhone 11 Pro Gold 256 gigabyte SIM unlocked unveiling. So this is the official unboxing for me. I have not had one of these in my hands yet and we are going to do it live on video and we're going to go over it. I have not unboxed one of these yet. There's been a lot of hype around this phone just because of the fact that we are getting a major overhaul with the camera. Now I'm not sure what a lot of you guys think, but in my opinion the camera is, it's interesting. I'm not sure if I absolutely hate it yet. I mean to me, I guess as somebody, you know, who's played video games, who's into technology, it's kind of cool. I don't know necessarily how it's going to be when I actually unbox the phone and open it. The phone's completely sealed. I have not even opened it yet myself prior to this video, so my reaction will be completely 100% and genuine. But the camera is kind of cool, I guess, in a sense. It kind of reminds me of like kind of like a techno, geary look. I don't know. It's just kind of interesting. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to like it when I actually unbox the phone, but it does kind of look cool. So once again, iPhone Pro, 256 gigabyte sim unlocked we have it right here and we're going to unbox it right now all right everybody so let's check this out we are going to officially break the seal on the new iphone kind of exciting to actually break one of these live on camera you hear that nice clean clear original genuine package breaking sound you there's nothing like it when you just crack a brand new iPhone box open so here we have it here's the actual box without the plastic on it it's an extremely pretty box in fact in my opinion I think this is probably one of the prettiest packaging jobs that Apple has actually done. The box is very nice. doesn't feel like there's any excess at all. Some of the iPhones, you can kind of shake them and they wiggle around. This one, not at all. So absolutely loving that. Very nice matte black with the rose gold. That's my favorite color with these. I always go with the gold or rose gold. So here it is. Let's check it out and look at that. It is, it is beautiful. So I did not know what to expect with this camera, but as you can all see, this thing is, this thing is beautiful. This is a beautiful iPhone. If you can't agree that this is a beautiful iPhone, then you might very well be a Samsung fan. And that is okay. And there come the accessories dumping out. Ooh, interesting. This is catching me off guard. So it looks like we actually have a new power block. That is very interesting. The power block says... Obviously, it's designed by Apple in California. I'm just wondering if the wattage... Okay, it looks like everything's the same as the other ones, but this is completely different. I had no idea. I don't know if I just didn't do my research, but I did not do any research on if they were going to change the Apple charging block, but it looks like they have, so that's very interesting. Now, obviously, you have the earphones are the exact same, and then the charging cord is going to be USB-C. We knew that, in a sense, that it's going to have that wider plug, but at the same time, it's it's different. It's it's interesting. They actually changed the actual block. So that's really interesting. You can see the cord in here is actually kind of, like I said, wider. It pretty much resembles a USB-C. So that's very interesting. It's just wider and it's very interesting to see. But that being said, going back to the actual iPhone, and then you've got the uh, instructions over here. But going back to the actual iPhone, this thing is beautiful. Honestly, I'm looking at it in person, and I didn't know if I was going to like it just because of the fact that the camera bump was just, it just looked weird on the box. I mean, it was kind of cool, but it was kind of weird. But honestly, the way that they did it, I'm just gonna kind of show you guys. So we are shooting right now in 1080p. I mean, we're, we're, we're 4K. I think actually this camera shoots in above 1080p. So we should be 480K. I'm, I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to see everything as clear as I can on my screen when I actually upload this to YouTube. I don't know if it's gonna distort it all when I put it through my editing program. But if you guys can see this as clear as I can, the bump out on the actual packaging, so if you look at the actual iPhone box, we're just going to look at it here. This actually looks like it's going to be like a full bump out, but if you look at it, if you look at it in person, it's hardly noticeable. I mean, when I'm looking at this thing, obviously you guys can see on camera, but in person, it literally looks just as thin as you see it on camera. So hopefully you guys can see this extremely clearly. This bump out really is nothing. It, it almost looks like it's a piece of glass with some cameras glued onto it. I mean, it's that thin. This thing is extremely thin. So honestly, 
very impressed with the design. I thought I was going to hate it, but absolutely love it. Absolutely cool. The question is, how good are these cameras actually going to work? That That is the question. But uh, yeah, the iPhone, very beautiful. I do love the color tone too. I suppose since we are on camera, even though I don't have a case right next to me, I'm very uh, picky. I, I always like to try and put the case on the phone before I do anything with it just because I never want to get any scratches on the screen or break it. I have a flawless record so far of never cracking an iPhone or smartphone screen since I've owned it. But that being said, we are taking off the plastic right now. We're not going to put it in a case on camera because I want to show you guys this. But another interesting thing that I'm noticing is that the plastic is not connected. So on most iPhones, it should be connected. However, it is not connected currently. So that's interesting. On most iPhones, when you pull the plastic off, it's not two separate pieces. It's all one piece, but now it is two separate pieces. Very interesting. So what we're going to do is we are going to power this iPhone on. And we're going to take a look at it and see what it's got for us. We're going to flip around to the back here. And, oh, wow. So actually, this back, this back, it was, it was so clear on camera. And I'm obviously looking at it the screen with you guys also because I want to make sure I'm seeing what I'm doing. But I thought there was a thin plastic over this back, but it's actually not. So actually, the new iPhones, the plastic only comes on the front screen. So that's interesting too. That's different from all the other iPhone models. And the iPhone 11 Pro 256 gig gold actually has a nice matte finish. I didn't know if it was going to be shiny or if it was going to be matte, but it's completely matte and it's absolutely beautiful. Kind of like the finish that you would see on the iPhone 6s, or the iPhone 6s absolutely beautiful i mean just the the black and the gold camera up there at the top just how they kind of hit that with the gloss gold and then the sides have that glossy gold to them and it's and with the matte on the back it's it's absolutely beautiful absolutely stunning and i really think this phone is going to be everything that they said it's going to be obviously it kind of got a little revision from the you know the xs and the xs max so it should be pretty interesting not a bunch of huge changes other than the fact that you have this interesting camera configuration on the back. But as I said, it really it really doesn't seem like it's going to be a problem at all. So I'm very excited about that just because of the fact that I didn't know what to expect. So that being said, everybody, I just wanted to do this live unboxing for you guys on my channel. For everybody out there, let's talk about phone flipping prices. So if you are watching this, iPhone prices for the XS Max and the XS, they might go down a little bit this week or they might stabilize. On top of that, the iPhone 11, the iPhone 11 Pro, and the iPhone 11 Pro Max are definitely going to be phones that you want to buy. You can make a killing off of them right now. There's going to be a lot of people selling them. You're going to want to scoop those up and you're going to want to get them sold to your direct buyers or on eBay as soon as possible. In fact, if you can come across some SIM unlocked phones, it's not a bad idea to actually sell them on eBay because right now these phones are going to be going for a premium because they're probably going to be sold out relatively quickly. It pretty much happens every year when there is a launch. So that being said, that's kind of some information on that. As far as prices, you can reach out to me directly on Facebook, send me a direct message and I will try and get back to you as soon as I can. Pricing is a little bit all over the place, but what you have to remember is when the iPhone XS and the iPhone XS Max came out, you were looking at almost a thousand bucks a phone from your direct buyers and you were looking at like 1150 on eBay. Pretty similar prices with this phone. Kind of same thing. I mean, figure, you know, 950 to 1000 on the low end and then on the higher end models, you know, 12, 13, 1400. So, just keep that in mind. But as far as this phone goes, I have not obviously personally used it yet and I'll probably do another video on that later, just kind of an update on you know what I think of these as I come across them but just unboxing this on camera and everything and actually seeing it for the first time in the flesh absolutely beautiful phone beautiful finish on it and I mean these cameras I just I can't get over how nicely they did the back cameras I mean it's so thin that you can you really hardly even tell that it's there I mean if you're looking at it at this angle it really looks like kind of like the iPhone X or the iPhone XS, just the two cameras. Like you would never know that this third one is right there if you're looking at it from this way. So it's absolutely beautiful here. I'll kind of show you guys that. So from this right here, if you're looking at it from the side view, you really can't tell that there is a third camera over there. So absolutely beautiful. Very impressed with Apple as always. Um, like I said, a few changes. We got uh, plastic only on the front screen. Thought it was uh, actually split up, but it's just only on the front screen. I'm not sure if that was a defect or if it's supposed to be like that, but I'm assuming it was supposed to be like that. I mean, it's a brand new iPhone. 
But that being said, we've got plastic only on the front screen, and then we do have a different charging block, very interesting, so I'm gonna have to do a little research on that and just see what that's all about. And then obviously with the charging cord, we've kind of got this wider charging cable going on here, and that's gonna be kind of interesting too. So this is going to, once again, in my opinion, you know, it's nice that they are going to USB-C, I guess, in a sense, but at the same time, you know, I don't really like knowing that, you know, Apple could possibly change everything again and then all the other charging blocks for the newer phones are going to be no good. So it's kind of weird here. So I'm just plugging it in here for you guys. Just kind of want to go over a few things. I thought when I first unboxed this, I thought that this was USB-C was going to just go right into the phone because of the fact that this plug... <sighs> I don't, I'm not sure if I'm just seeing things or if just because I'm seeing the USB-C right next to the lightning cable, but this lightning cable almost looks a little bit wider than the original lightning cables. So once again, just kind of interesting, but yeah, so I guess the block, so what I was told is I was told that Apple might switch to USB-C, but what it's looking like is they're going to keep the actual lightning extender into the iPhone, which is a good thing because then we won't have to change and they're going to use the USB-C to plug into the block. If they make the USB-C just on the block end where you don't have to, you know, have a specific cord for the new iPhones, I don't really think changing to USB-C is a really big deal if they're just going to do it that way. I thought it was going to be on both ends. So that's kind of interesting. In the future, this could change. I'm not really sure. But that being said, everybody, I hope this video brings some value to you and I hope it answers some questions about the iPhone 11 Pro. Uh, one thing that we didn't go over that we could go over really quick is how much did this phone cost? This phone was believe it was $1,200 and it was some it was $1,215 and some cents. That's what it was. It was $1,215 something I believe with tax and everything. That's what these phones run for. They are not cheap, but as you can see, they are beautiful, absolutely worth it. It's going to be a very interesting year, I think, for iPhones, especially with this camera thing. You know, I, I can't wait to see what Samsung actually does. And I just think they did such a wonderful job. I can't stop complimenting them on how they built these cameras in here. And from this side view, from the normal side view, you really can't tell that there is a third camera there. So it's absolutely beautiful how thin that truly is. I'll show you guys one last kind of final view of it from this side, just so you can see how thin this really is. It's absolutely stunning, it's beautiful. Apple did a great job. But that being said, that kind of covers the unboxing of the new iPhone 11 Pro Gold SIM Unlocked. And that kind of gives you an overview on what you can expect from pricing and what's going to be happening in the week to come and the following weeks. So that being said, thanks everybody for the support on the YouTube channel. Make sure you guys smash that like button, hit subscribe, join that notification squad, and I will see you all in the next video.